What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you another makeup look. This is my recreation of Nikki Makeup's look on Yara Shadidi. It's been saved in my saved Instagram photos or posts for the longest time. I've been wanting to do it. I just never picked up the courage to do it. It's this very just sultry kind of 60s look but it's modernized. It's basically a toned down pulled back cut crease. I've never done a cut crease before. That's why I'm a little bit, I've been a little bit nervous, you know, but I think I made it. What do you think? <laughs> Anyways, I always talk so much in the intro. So let me keep it short and just say that if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nats and I want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true, but also fun approach to beauty. So if that sounds like your jam, please subscribe. It's for free. It's free. Also, if you hang around on Instagram and Twitter, go follow me there too. I just spew out a lot of stuff there. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's weird. Most of the time it's entertaining anyway, so I'm just giving you the option. Anyways, let's get in to this look. Hey, look at clean brushes. I'm gonna prime my eye with the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C7. I wanna do a concealer that's gonna dry down matte because since we're gonna have this definition right here, you don't want anything to move around. You want a good primer. Just get yourself a good eye primer. I just suck. I'm gonna put this all over my lid and then I just usually blend it out with my finger. Okay. You want to take it all the way up, but just don't, don't fuck up the brow. Oh, and by the way, today's hot tip. Always start with your easy eye, with the good eye that you always do good eye makeup on, and then you just follow that eye to do the other one. So what you want to do is you want to get some kind of a brown liner, pen, something. I would go with your eyebrow pencil if you have one, or you can trace it out if you have like a pomade, you can trace it out with an angle brush. Just something that is a cool tone brown, cool tone brown. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This has two sides. You see me use this a lot for my brows. This is the felt tip side, but it also has a regular brow pen side, which is super, super, super thin perfect for a thing like this. So what you want to do is you can see on this eye that I've kind of followed my my natural crease, but then I'm just gone above it. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to fix the line afterwards. We're going to trace it once again underneath with concealer so that it becomes sharp AF. So don't worry. I'm just going to start right here in the beginning and maybe something like that. I would say it's better if you take it too far down than too far up, because if it's too far down, you could erase it with concealer. But if it's too far up, you need to go in and add products. When you're tracing out the line, try to relax so your brows are down and try to just look straight ahead. See this little double crease that I've started to have here on this eye? That is... Gravity, my friends. She had All right. What I wanna do when I come towards the end right here is since I have slightly hooded, slightly downwards tilting eyes, I don't wanna bring it too far down. On this one right here, I actually started lifting it a bit towards the end. So that is what I'm gonna do with this one here too. So I'm just gonna start picking it up a bit. Yeah. Now I'm just going to go in with another layer to make sure that I actually see this line because it's not that visible right now. All right. So now we have our little traced outline. So what we want to do now is we want to start working with shadows. So I'm going to, as per usual, use my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. The colors that I'm using today are Warm Taupe, which is this grayish light brown, and Vermeer right here, which is just a 
sparkly, pinky, champagne-y color. So in this look, brushes are essential, especially that you have a smaller one that you can go in and blend with. You could make it work with like an angle brush. Uh, and depending on your eye size, of course, you could, if you have huge eyes, you could work with just a regular like blending brush. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that warm taupe, dust it off. So I'm starting to, with just a little product and I'm blending this line. When I look at her eyes, it actually looks like she's got quite a lot going on right here. Um, it's almost connected to the brow. Now I'm gonna grab a brush, sort of like the one that we had, but it's a tad bit bigger, and I'm just going to keep that clean, not put any product on that. So this one right here is gonna be like my blending brush. So no product, completely clean, cleaned even. And I'm just going to go in and start blending that shadow. I'm not blending the lower part. I'm keeping it just so that I blend out upwards. I'm going to go in once again with that taupe and I'm building the color up because I want it to be that intense. So just following the line and then going in with the clean brush and blending. If you feel like you have a hard time blending that brown, you could go in with just like a very light color that is the similar color to just underneath your brow bone. I'm gonna grab Tempera. You see it's a very like, it's bone white. And I'm just grabbing a little bit on that brush and tapping it off. And then I'm just applying it firstly just underneath my brow and then blending it a little bit with that taupe. And then just blending it out. A great way to see if this eye is even to this eye is look straight forward, tilt your head down, and you can see if the lines are going the same way. That's a great way for you to be able to even it out once we start carving it out with concealer. Now you can see it's it's not very alike, but what you wanna make sure is that the upper part is blended out and looks the same on both eyes and then the lower part, don't worry about that yet. So we got a great start going on right here. What I wanna do now is I wanna go in with that brow pen once again and do another layer of that because that is going to further define that line. We're just like intensifying it in steps because if we apply product, just a little bit of product in multiple steps, that's gonna be the best for our blending and for our end result to look impeccable instead of going in with a ton of product right away and then be like, I did too much. Because I told you before, that's always my problem. I always do too much. <laughs> Just going in with the blending brush. Okay, we're getting there. Now to the fun part. Now's the time to carve out the line from underneath. And I'm just, once again, I'm gonna grab the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C7. I'm putting some on my hand and then I'm grabbing a flat brush like this. So any flat brush that you have will do. You can also do like a angle brush, it will work fine. And then I'm just gonna grab some of that on the angle brush. And as I said, tilt your head backwards and you'll be able to see exactly how much you need to carve away in order for it to look like the other eye. So I can see that this one goes a lot higher up. So I'm going to carve away some right here. Mm, yeah, no, I need to remove a bit. I think that that is almost it. It's just that this one arches up a little bit more. So I'm going to take away some right here. now they're starting to look alike. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend this downwards. And, and if you remove too much, once again, you can go in with that brown pencil and save it. This is the beauty of this look because it's easy to just go in and alternate. You know, this is a lot of back and forth to make sure that 
your eyes are even and that you're getting the intensity that you want. So just to define that a little bit more. You could be happy with this. If you want to intensify it a little bit, you could go in with a little bit of a slightly darker brown. And I have a small Isadora palette um, where I have this color right here. As you can see, it's darker than the taupe. So see, there they are next to each other. This one is the one I'm going to use now and just the tiniest amount. And when I say tiny, just I really, I really mean tiny. I can just see that this one is a little, little bit darker and a little, little bit warmer. Just kind of applying that and then going in with that blending brush. And making sure there are no edges happy okay so next for the little bit of a shimmer on the eyelid i'm gonna go into that color that i showed you in the beginning vermeer and i'm grabbing that flat brush that i use for concealer and i'm just packing it on on the flat side and then i'm just going in and then i'm gonna grab some like right on the top i'm gonna go in and also with that go close to that line and carve that line out even more that's gonna make that line pop to the next level okay so the only thing that i would say is that her shade of that kind of sparkly color is a little bit more rose gold this is very like icy so as you can see i don't know if you can't see but this eye is actually a little bit darker and warmer than this if you don't have a peachy color don't even be bothered this is this look is bomb as it is you don't have to but since i have it and i want to replicate this look i'm going to do it so i'm going to go into Anastasia Riviera palette. So coastline, which is right here. I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush because I don't wanna pack the color on. I just wanna very lightly swoop it over. So grabbing some, tapping it off, and then I'm just like, just to give it that little peachy tint. So for a beautiful, wispy lashes we're gonna do my favorites these are basically the only lashes that i use if you didn't like realize already i'm very much a creature of habit i don't like change so and this is just one example but these are the house of lashes iconic lights and i have trimmed them because my eye is not as long as these come so i trim them quite a lot but first I'm gonna just do a very quick tight lining. I suck at applying lashes, so I need to tight line because it just, it's, it's that extra step that kind of saves me. Just grab a black felt tip liner and I'm just gonna tight line with this. So I'm going in, in between my lashes and I'm lining from the outer part of my eye and then all the way in i'm also going to do the thinnest line you can ever imagine it's not going to be a line i'm just running this on top of my lashes okay i am grabbing my glue this is the duo white slash clear lash a little something like that and then grabbing the tweezers and just looping it on there pressing it in making sure that it's actually on my lash line i can see that this one needs to be pulled in a little bit so i just pull it next i just make sure to draw a line from the end of the lash into my tear duct to connect them. And <laughs> I want to also go, once the glue is dried, I want to go on top too. 
and that does also add to the thickness of the lash line. Then I just quickly go in with mascara on my own lashes, just a little tiny bit to make sure that they stick together with the fake ones. The last thing for our eyes, we're gonna do our lower lashes so that they kind of clump together as on this eye. So what you wanna do is you want to go in on your lower lashes, apply a lot of mascara. Then let that dry and then go in with the tweezer and like tweeze them together in like sections. Just be careful don't poke your eye out please i need to warn you don't do this at home and there we go now when i look at her skin it's impeccable i mean she just looks amazing but i think that they've got kind of like a satin finish and then they place the highlight very strategically. I'm gonna grab my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. This is in 02 Natural. Do not know if this shade is gonna match me now, but I'm applying some on my Beauty Blender and let's just go in. Yeah, I mean, a bit too light, but we can fix it with bronzer. I'm concealing my lips too because my lips are quite pigmented. So since I want a very specific lip color later. I'm just concealing them. I think foundation is good. Next, I'm color correcting a bit with my Make the Make N4. It's just a peachy type of pot concealer. Go in with my finger. And especially here in the front, I've got a lot of like blue undertones on my eye, so I kind of put it right there. We're gonna brighten it up with another concealer too. We're gonna go into that Conceal and Define concealer once again and mainly placing it right here and just a little bit right there. Then I'm grabbing my Beauty Blender and just blending. For bronzer, I'm going in once again to my Make the Make Vitamin C Compact Bronzer in SB1 and my Love the Bronzer Brush from them too. Always starting with my forehead. So for blush, it actually looks like she's got something more peachy going on. I'm gonna do my Glossier Cloud Paint and Beam, but I might add a little bit pink. I don't know yet, let's try it. I took way too much, damn. Maybe I'll do this with the Beauty Blender then. She's got like apple cheeks going on, you know? Actually, I'm not very satisfied with this color. I want something more pink, so I'm gonna grab my Isadora blush in 08 Pink Pop, and I'm, now I'm just applying it a bit more right on the apples of my cheek. And then, this might be it. I think, I think, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. For lips, it's like this very nice glossy pink pop. I'm gonna line them with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken and I cannot talk while doing this, so give me one second. And then since I don't have a pink lip gloss, I'm gonna take some of that pink blush and then just do this. Cause it's, it's like her cheeks. It's, it's like her lips are somewhere like a mix in between something pink and something um, peachy. Now I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution lip gloss in Knockout. This is very peachy, so this is gonna save the whole thing. See that? 
I feel that I've got one issue going on and that is the fact that this eye is a little bit more droopy so this one actually looks okay with the line it still looks like it's you know lifted this one since it naturally is more droopy it looks like it also is more droopy with this makeup so I'm gonna do one little trick you don't have to do this if you don't have eyes like mine I'm just gonna thicken up the liner on the outside of the eye it's going to lift it just a little bit forgot about highlighter let's just highlight a little bit on the tip of her nose right there and right here like she's got it I don't know why I'm doing this but she looks pretty as fuck so why not do whatever she's doing <laughs> All right, guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do you like it? If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Why am I talking British? I don't know. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any other looks that you want me to recreate. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.